This week's Parsha, as Yaakov's life was nearing an end, he gathered all his children and grandchildren, and including that was Yosef, his son Joseph, bringing his two sons, Menashe and Ephraim, his two grandchildren that were born in Egypt, and he gave them a powerful blessing. And the blessing was that from here and on, whenever Jews bless their children, they should say, Yisimcha lokem ke Ephraim v'chemnashe. May God make you like Ephraim and Menashe. And the question we have to ask ourselves is that of all the grandchildren of Yaakov, out of all the descendants of Jacob, what was so unique about Menashe and Ephraim that they became the gold standard in terms of identifying someone as a role model? You should be like Menashe and Ephraim. What, what was so special about Menashe and Ephraim? And uh, the truth of the matter is, Menashe and Ephraim were the only descendants of Yaakov, the only grandchildren of Yaakov that were born in the land of Egypt. All of his grandchildren were born in the land of Israel, or the land of Canaan, as it was known back then. And then they immigrated to Egypt. And, but they grew up, all the other grandchildren, in the cradle of faith that Yaakov taught them, that was uh, handed down to him from his father, Yitzchak, that was handed down to him from uh, their grandfather, Avraham. And Yaakov raised his children in that environment, the warm confines of, of that faith. But however, Yosef, when he went to Egypt, he had two sons, Benash and Ephraim. And they were raised in an environment and culture that was completely alien to the values of Yaakov. They were raised amongst people that uh, believed in pagan worship and practiced that. And uh, nonetheless, despite it all, they persevered and were steadfast in their faith. And they clung to the values that Yosef taught them, which he inherited from his father Yaakov. And that's why Yaakov singled out his two grandchildren, Menashe and Ephraim. Because he knew that in the, in the future, we his descendants would be out in the world and will be in an environment where perhaps that is somewhat hostile to our observance and our upbringing. But nonetheless, we should always strive to be like Menashe and Ephraim, who were able to be steadfast and strong in their faith and their beliefs. Folks, every Friday night we gather our children around the table before Kiddush and we bless our sons May God make you like Ephraim and Menashe. Next time we are, we are engaged in that, let us remember this concept. That despite the environment that they find themselves in, no matter how alien to Torah or mitzvahs it is, let us always remember to remain steadfast in our values like Menashe and Ephraim were. Have a wonderful Shabbos.